Hello everyone. Welcome to the IIT Jam tutorial number two. Here I'm going to start the first chapter on physical chemistry, basic mathematical concepts, and today's topic of discussion is functions. I repeat here one more thing before starting this lecture that you will get all the video links in the description box below along with the link of the previous lecture, the link of the next lecture. So let's start functions under basic mathematical concepts and here is the curriculum, the subtopics in this chapter. According to IIT JAM curriculum, it is functions, maxima and minima, integrals, ordinary differential equations, vectors and matrices, determinants, elementary statistics and probability theory. So let's start with functions. If x and y are two variables so that y is a function of x, then it is mathematically expressed as y equals to fx. That means for any value of x, y would have one or more than one values. Suppose, arbitrarily, I say that fx is x squared plus twice x plus one. So for the value of x equals to one, the value of fx equals to four. You put one here in, 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 in the place of x, then you will get the value of fx or y equals to 4. That means y has a single value, only one value for a single value of x. Such a function is called a single valued function. So what is a single valued function? That is if y is a function of x then y has only one value for a single value of x. Such a function is called a single valued function and here y is called the dependent variable and x is called the independent variable. Okay. Now multi-valued function. What about this? Now, if y has more than one value for y equals to fx, then fx is a multi-valued function. For example, if y squared, for example, say arbitrarily x plus 3, then y equals to what? y equals to plus minus root over x plus 3. And in that case, if you put 1 in place of x, then you will get two values of y. One is plus 2, another is minus 2. So it is multi-valued function. Therefore, corresponding to a single value of x, the function y equals to fx is a double valued function. Now, another thing is the domain of the function. Domain of the function is the range or interval of the independent variable x. So, this is known as the domain of a function. Now, polynomial function. Polynomial function means this is a polynomial function. a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared. So, up to x to the power n. So, here fx is a polynomial function where coefficients a, n are the constants and x, n, what is n? n is the degree of the polynomial. And if fx equals to 0, then the equation has n number of exactly equal roots. Definitely, if this one equals to 0, then x should have n number of values. For example, if the degree is 3. In that case, the equation may have uh, the, this type of shape like x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 1. Actually, this is x minus 1 whole cube. And if this one equals to 0, so x minus 1 whole cube equals to 0. So it has three equal roots. Okay. Now, what about exponential function? Suppose y is a function of x, y equals to fx. In that case, y equals to e to the power x or y equals to maybe e to the power minus x. Okay, the inverse of the exponential is logarithm. For example, if x equals to e to the power y, in that case y equals to ln x, that means natural log of, log of x. Okay, and this is called natural logarithm. If, if the base is 10, that means x equals to 10 to the power y, then y equals to log x. Here base is 10, here the base is e. Okay, so this is known as the common logarithm when the base is 10. Okay, and the relationship between natural log and common log is natural log of x equals to 2.303 log x or uh, on the um, inverse order, reverse order, log x equals to 0 0.43, 4343 ln x. Okay, now the graphical plot. So here are the four graphical plots, a, b, c, d, this is a, this is actually denoting y equals to 10 to the power x. Okay, here the d curve is actually y equals to e to the power x okay d curves the movement of d curves like this here actually it starts from here so increasing 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 and increasing and you must have to keep e to the power x below the line of 10 to the power x because 10 is greater than e okay on the other hand if it is negative power then 
if it is y equals to 10 to the power minus x then it will start here and then decrease remember the chemical kinetics graphical presentation here it will go here okay and if it is e to the power minus x it will go like this decreasing and here after having crossed this y axis it will go above the b line okay so here in the first quadrant a 10 to the power x is above the d line that means 10, 10 to the power x is above e to the power x line in the second quadrant the their position have been reversed that means a becomes below d okay a exists below d here also in the b curve you, you find it is y equals to 10 to the power minus x here it is below the c curve in the first quadrant whereas it is above the c curve in the second quadrant okay so this is the exponential graphical presentation now logarithmic graphical presentation here the same a curve starts from here this is the curve actually y equals to natural log of a x goes here and above b curve okay where the b curve started b curve started actually in the left hand side of a okay increasing 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 then after having crossed the x axis it becomes below the a curve that means actually it was the right hand side of a curve similarly the 1 by x curve maybe it's natural log or maybe it's common log for if it is natural log then it will start here in the right hand side of c curve the d curve is natural uh, y equals to ln 1 by x okay so it will decreasing it will decrease and then decreasing decreasing after having crossed the x line it will go below the c curve whereas where the c curve started it started in the left hand side of d this is actually representing y equals to log 1 by x so in the left hand side of d it started then decreasing very steeply and then logarithmically it becomes parallel to the x axis but it is being placed above d curve okay and here in this point x equals to 1 y equals to 0 and in the previous picture here in this point x equals to 0 y equals to 1 okay so you have to keep these points in mind and uh, you must have to mention these coordinates here now trigonometric functions so examples of trigonometric functions are uh, y equals to fx equals to sin x cos x tan x cot x sec x and cosec x what are the full forms this is sine this is cosine tangent cotangent secant cosecant okay and these are periodic functions and hence satisfy the relations because you know the graphical presentation of sine x y equals to sine x what about this it's like a wave isn't it so it's a periodic function after uh, uh, having a revolution of 2 pi angle the angles become same and the values of y become the same so that is why they are called the periodic functions okay so in that case you can also write function of x plus k equals to function of x so both x and k are uh, in radians definitely they are the angles okay and here a uh, function of x plus k is actually function of x so k is what very simple k is nothing but twice pi isn't it so it is suppose 15 degree okay x is 15 degree so if it, it is it may be 375 degree or it is directly 15 degree the value of x okay and k this twice pi is actually the period of each function okay so different trigonometric functions have different graphical presentations now let's move on to the graphical presentation here y equal to sin x so in the in the jam exam you'll be given different types of curves and you have to identify them okay and different options suppose this curve is given and you are given or uh, choose the correct option which one is correct why if y equal to fx it will, be, it will be given four options y equals to sine x y equal to cos x y equal to cos x y equal to sec x then you have to uh, choose this option so just have a look here it is starting from zero for sine x then maximum one then again zero then minimum minus one then again zero so one period is completed okay in the cosine curve it started from one then zero then minus one then zero okay then one period is completed okay here in the tangent curve started from minus infinity then this type of curve and then at plus infinity that means at those points they are they, they become undefined okay 
cosec x cosec and x curve is actually parabolic curve like this okay but it is not crossing the y axis whereas if the, it crosses the y axis then it's a second curve okay so this is these two are very important you have to identify what about the difference between sine and tangent and cotangent tangent has a positive slope whereas cotangent has a negative slope okay and another thing tangent curve passes through the origin whereas cotangent part doesn't pass through the origin so this way you have to identify all these graphical presentations now if the value of this fx little bit modified suppose fx is sin x but if fx is twice sin x or if it is half sin x then the amplitudes change but the period doesn't change at the pi they have the same value at twice pi they have same value but at 3 pi by uh, 3 pi by 2 it has a different value in case of half x it is half than of sin x in case of twice sin x it is double than of sin x okay so if it is minus 1 then for 3 pi by 4 3 pi by 2 then for half sin x it is minus half and for twice sin x it is minus 2 okay so this way there they can be graphically drawn whatever be the coefficient of sin x or maybe for cos x or others now if the x part is changed okay that means the theta part is changed if it is twice x or if it is x by 2 what may be the difference so here the angle is actually changing that means you have to make changes according to the x axis okay but the amplitudes are the maxima and the minima are always same in the previous case amplitudes had changed here 1 became 0.5 and here it became 2 isn't it the red line is 1 green line is 2 whereas the blue line is half or 0.5 on the other hand here you find at this point that is this point it is always 1 okay the maximum value is always 1 it doesn't change the minimum value is always minus 1 okay so where the changes occur actually the changes occur in the x-axis okay started at zero everywhere but this movement of the car would change like suppose this is fx equal to sin x okay this is saffron colored okay or orange colored this fx is in blue is sine twice x whereas this is light blue or uh, sky blue this is sine x by 2 okay so look this is the normal curve okay so this cycle is completed at twice pi and it crosses the x-axis at pi whereas in case of sine twice x okay look the movement of the blue line it will be just double that means its frequency would increase so for sine x the frequency of the curve if it is 1 then for sine 2 x the frequency would be 2 okay for every cycle completed for sine x two cycles are completed for sine twice x whereas the frequency is halved for sine x by 2 only half cycle is completed when twice pi angle is covered okay so this way you have to very much you have to be very much meticulous or you have to be very much careful in when you are thinking with this uh, with these angles or with this uh, period of cycle okay so this is not necessary that these functions would come in your exam they may change now move on to the sin x plus cos x function okay so actually at 0 sin x is uh, 0 whereas cos x is 1 so their summation is 1 now after some interval the, their summation would increase to this value and then they would decrease so if it starts at 1 then passes through a maxima then through then a minima then this is type of curve is actually sin x plus cos x curve just take the value of x different values of x okay and put the values of sin x plus cos x okay make uh, uh, represent them in a tabular form and then try to draw the graph in a graph paper then you will automatically find that these values are being of these types of graphs graphical presentations are being obtained okay now very interesting thing if y equals to sin x by x okay 
actually if x equals to 0 then sin x equals to 0 but the graphical presentation is something different in that case you have to take help of calculus you have to take the limiting value of sin x by x because if at x equals to 0 then 1 by x becomes undefined so you cannot do this in a normal way so you have to take help of limiting calculations so the limiting value of sin x by x at x tends to 0 is equal to actually 1 okay so in that case the graphical presentation is like this okay here at maxima is at 1 but the other things in the sideways in the right hand side of the y axis or in the left hand side in the, of the y axis you will get you will get uh, small amplitudes okay here one is the amplitude maximum amplitude but here the small amplitudes okay like 1 by 5 like that means 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 and minus 0 0.2 okay so this is the graphical presentation if fx equals to sin x by x okay now trigonometric identities you have learned it during your uh, cbse board exam or uh, any board exam of class 10 but let me repeat this because this should be required during your jam exam so sin x square plus cos x square equals to 1 sec sec, uh, sec square i'm sorry sin square x plus cos square x equals to 1 sec square x minus tan square x equals to 1 cos x square x minus cos square x equals to 1 then sin x plus minus y equal to sin x cos y plus minus cos x sin y. That means if it is sin x plus y, then it is sin x cos y plus cos x sin y. And if it is x minus y, then it would be sin x cos y minus tan x minus tan y divided by 1 plus tan x tan y. So you have to be very much cautious. Okay. Now if it is sin x sin y, then the result is cos x minus y minus cos x plus y divided by 2 for cos x cos y it is cos x minus y plus cos x plus y divided by 2 for sin x cos y it is sin x plus y minus sin x minus y divided by 2 for sin twice x it is twice sin x cos x or it is also equal to twice tan x divided by 1 plus tan square x and for cos twice x it is simply cos square x minus sin square x now sin square x equals to half into 1 minus cos twice x cos square x equals to half into 1 plus cos twice x sin thrice x equals to 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x cos thrice x equals to 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x sin x plus sin y equals to twice sin x, y, x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2 cos x plus cos y is equal to 2 into cos x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2 cos x minus cos y equals to twice sin x plus y by 2 into sin y minus x by 2 or it is also equal to minus twice sin x plus y by 2 into sin x minus y by 2 and now hyperbolic functions hyperbolic in the hyperbolic functions sin cos tan or cot will be followed by the sin h that means sin h means sin hyperbolic now if it is sin h of x then the expression is e to the power x minus e to the power minus x divided by 2 or half into e to the power x minus e to the power minus x for cos hyperbolic x it is half into exponential x plus exponential minus x for 10 hyperbolic x equals to in the numerator just put cos uh, put the value of sign and then new in the denominator just put the value of cos okay so the value of sine is exponential x minus exponential minus x and the value of cos hyperbolic x is exponential x plus exponential minus x so this is the value of tan hyperbolic x and the value of cot hyperbolic x is the reciprocal of tan hyperbolic x so it is nothing but e to the power x plus e to the power minus x divided by e to the power x minus e to the power minus x so that's all for today's lecture what functions and your next topic is ready here look this is maxima minima 
integrals ordinary differential equations these three part topics will be covered in the tutorial number three or lecture number two of basic mathematical concept okay so till then goodbye and have a nice day